guys, I'm back and I'm doing a liquid lipstick try on today. I'm excited, you guys. My lip videos are like my favorite videos ever that I do on my channel. Like, I just freaking love lipstick, lip gloss, liquid lipstick. I love the lips and I feel like that was my very first product that I ever fell in love with besides like mascara. But like in college, that was just my thing. Like I would always have on a liquid lipsticks. So today I'm trying on the Maybelline New York Superstay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lipsticks. These are liquid lipsticks, right? Actually, we should check that. So technically they're called liquid lip color. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know if that means it's a liquid lipstick or if it's just like a lip stain or what, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna be trying them on today. You guys, the reason why I'm doing this video is because these products caught wind on TikTok and you know how that goes. Everyone blows it out of proportion and it's like it's some new big thing or whatever. So I decided to buy a few with my own money. I purchased six shades, so I'm really, really excited to try them on. And like, sometimes things can be really overhyped on TikTok, so I just want to try it out for myself. I want to try it out for my subscribers and I want you guys to see what these liquid lipsticks are actually like because sometimes they lie. <laughs> sometimes they lie on TikTok. Like you guys know it, I know it and it irks me. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to let y'all know the tea on the vinyl ink lip colors okay so before i get into the video today i do want to chat about my current lip color right now just because like i always say sometimes i do forget so before i forget today i am wearing the lip liner cork and i literally lined my lips with cork by mac cosmetics and then i filled in the entire set of lips with the lip liner and i usually don't do that but i was like i'm gonna go for it today so i went for it and it was so cute and so for gloss to top it off i went in with the shade bow in the mac lip glass so this is a full mac cosmetics lip today it's so freaking cute it's brunette and it's summer it's perfect for glowing makeup and i just freaking loved it so i wanted to share it with you guys <laughs> all right let's really get into the point of video all right y'all so i wasn't lying to y'all i purchased six of these things so i'm going to get my makeup wipes and wipe off my lips my subscribers know this is the one i love these makeup remover wipes they're so freaking good and I always get the calming lavender. <laughs> hey guys, now that I have my lip color off, let's actually talk about the product. So as I mentioned before, it's a product by Maybelline. It's called the Super Stay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lip Color. You guys, it has over 3000 reviews and I would say about 4.6 stars. So that's really freaking good. Um, there are 20 different shades. So like I said, I've only purchased six of them because I'm very far from the days where I purchased the whole set of a lipstick, lip gloss, or whatever. It's just too expensive, and then they go to waste. So I picked six of them that I think would really look good on me, hopefully. And also, these run about $12.99 a piece, so that's that. $12.99 to me is really not that bad. Can you find cheaper? Of course, always. But I don't really think $12.99 is bad for one. So let's read a little bit about the summary of the product. It says, shake up your long wear with Maybelline's Vinyl Ink Liquid Lip Color. This no budge lip color lasts up to 16 hours with its color lock formula that defies smudging and transfer. Simply shake and swipe. Okay, good thing I read that because I was not going to shake it up. So I don't know if that means it's like oily or what. So the few benefits that it says, it says it's no budge vinyl color up to 16 hour wear and it's formulated with carrying ingredients. Caring, I feel like you guys didn't even hear what I just said. Sometimes I just talk and it's like one word after the other and they run into each other. It's formulated with caring ingredients which help provide a comfortable feel. What it's formulated without animal derived animal derived ingredients or byproducts which i don't know what the heck that is all right the jibber jabber is over and it's time 
it's freaking time to apply the first one. So let's look at the packaging first. Y'all, the packaging is freaking cute on this. And it says vinyl. Like, when I saw it, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I just cussed. I didn't mean to do that. But I was like, what does it freaking say? But yeah, it says vinyl on the side. So the first shade that I'm going to be taking is shade 10. It's called Lippy. So, oops, I already forgot to shake it. So let me, oh, so I'm shaking it and I hear something in there. I don't know. I hope I didn't get a defective one. But yeah, I hear something in there. So opening it. It looks kind of pink. So let's try her on. First swipe. She's pretty. Oh my gosh. Y'all. Like, I freaking like this. And she's so smooth. All right, I'm trying to line my lips as best as I can. Y'all, I didn't even go back into the tube and look at this color. Pause, 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 because maybe this product wasn't overhyped on TikTok because she's cute, y'all. And on top of that, it feels good on the lips. Like, it's not dry at all. And um, let her dry a little bit. Then I'm gonna give a kiss on the back of my hand because I just kind of want to see if it's really smudge budge proof, okay? I feel a little stick coming, so let's give it a try. So I'm not going to lie, I do see just a little bit came off, but that's not bad at all. If you think about a typical lipstick, when you kiss anything, you kiss somebody's cheek, you kiss the back of your hand, or maybe you give somebody a hug it might go all over their clothes their skin or whatever so this i'm really not mad at now does it live up to its claims technically not really but i think that it's good enough <laughs> in just a second because can we talk about the shade it's really like a cute coral salmon pink i actually really like it like you guys know that I'm not much of a pink person but it's when it's like that bright bright pink that is just like cringe like the freaking like pink like this this doesn't belong on my lips not without a lip liner speaking of lip liners let's talk about really quick why I am not trying these on with a lip liner so if you're new to my channel I do not try on new lip products with lip liners unless it instructs you to or unless like it came with like a lip liner like for the Juvia's Place collection the coffee collection I did try those with the lip liners because they came with lip liners that was a part of the collection but something like this no I will not the reason is because usually when you apply a lip liner with your lip color it typically will change the shade of the color and it'll create like an ombre effect. And so I just don't want that. I want you guys to see the true color of the lipstick. So yeah, I'm gonna take this one off and move on to the next one. I'm impressed. Next up, I have the shade 110 and this one's called Awestruck. So I'm just gonna open this one up. And again, I forgot to shake it, you guys. Okay, so I guess they all have this kind of sound because this is the second one like that. So I'm shaking this one up. Don't forget to shake it up because I don't know if that changes the application, but it clearly states in the instructions to do that. So this one looks really light. I'm actually terrified, but let's give it a swipe. Wait. She's not bad. Mm. 
you guys so this one to me doesn't look anything like its container it's very very pale pink and i'm not actually mad at this i was scared that it was gonna be like that powder pink almost like powder donuts and it's like ew we cannot do that now me personally i think i would wear this one with a lip liner that's just the look that i like you guys feel free to not apply a lip liner with this one but i wore this one to like work or something because this to me is the perfect work shade i mean like i would wear this with a light brown lip liner or even a dark brown lip liner and i think it would be really really cute so one thing i forgot to mention is taking these off have been super easy so far but i do have some darker shades on the way so i will let you guys know if it becomes staining i do feel like the first one stained my lips just a little bit but nothing too crazy so yeah let's go on into the third shade so for shade three i have 120 punchy and we'll see what he's looking like another light shade so these bottles i feel like are a little misleading which is a little bit annoying because i purchased them kind of thinking that you know I would get something closer to this but let's try it out and again i freaking forgot to shake it you guys don't be like me shake your products because they told you to so here we have another light shade and this is more nude in my opinion i personally like this one better than the previous shade just because it did have that um pink essence about it but this one although it has like a little pink it's also giving a little peachy nude at the same time so I think it's really cute and I'm actually happy that I purchased this one because I don't know it's something about this one that gives office so uh, going into work you're like mm, I need something cute but not to bam in your face okay that's really important <laughs> you don't want to go into work with colors that are too too dark because sometimes it's doing a little bit much depending on where you work all right this time I'm not going to forget so I'm shaking up my product and this one is the shade 125 keen so let's go ahead and open her up I'm thinking orange orange okay so this one is orangey first swipe Ooh. one thing I want to say about these lip products is I love the way that these dry down Although they have like that really cute glossy effect when they dry down, they don't dry down crumbly. It's really easy to just apply one layer and that usually does the trick, but I'm extra so I will put a little extra layer. If that's just me, you guys don't have to do that. But yeah, I really think I like this color as well. Is it a color that I would wear every day? It's definitely not an everyday shade for me. It's actually, mm, I was thinking fall at first, but this is actually a really bright summer shade. And I think it's cute for this time of the year. I have two shades left to try on and I'm very eager to see what they're going to turn out like. So for my next shade, go ahead and give her a little shake. And what color is this? It says 130 Extra. Love that. So I hope this one lives up to its name. Okay. Mmm. <gasps> Y'all, she's gonna be perfect for fall. <laughs> Y'all, extra is so extra. I actually really love the shade. Is this my favorite one? I don't know. Like, I really did like that first one. But this one is giving me like pumpkin spice latte. She's so freaking cute. I don't even wanna take it off. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's really cute. So. I do have one last shade, you guys, and it's freaking hot pink. Well, the container is. I don't know if it's going to come off like that, though. I bought this shade just because, like, I felt like I just wanted to, like, do something exciting. They have a lot of different ones, and I didn't want to go, like, black. So I was like, I'm going to get a freaking hot pink. They have, like, this bright red, which, I don't know, I really think I should have bought that, too, because... And I'm saying bright red, but the, the container just looked really bright. So I don't know if it was actually bright, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I wanted to try something different. I'm a little nervous for this next shade. <laughs> All right, ladies, for this next shade, I don't even know if I can pronounce it, but look at the bottle. She's gorge. 
it is 46 capricious Ugh, i hope i'm saying that right but let's open her up whoo she's bright so first swipe mmm you guys, this shade is actually everything. I was a little bit nervous when I was applying it just because you have to be really, really careful when you're applying reds, bright pinks. Like, actually, if this wasn't just like a try on video, if I was gonna wear this out in public, I would probably go in with like my foundation and kind of touch that up a little bit. But I think it's fine for what we're doing here, you guys. This really should have been the shade called Extra because it so totally is. Or like Barbie, something cute like that because she is hot. Hot, 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 hot pink. And I love it. Oh my gosh. I don't know. It's just like the cutest little pop, especially with my blush. Hmm. I really like it. So overall let's talk about the products and what i like and what i dislike there's not really much that i disliked about these products um i mentioned earlier that the claim for smudge and budge is kind of like eh because when i did the whole kiss test i did see a little bit you know come off on my hand so that's really not a problem for me that's not my biggest issue my biggest takeaway from trying on these shades is that they really don't look like the container and that's just my opinion um they look so much different than the container for me personally um but you can fix that by just shopping in store and doing like the swatch with the little tester i don't do that because i kind of think it's gross <laughs> <laughs> but you guys feel free to <laughs> y'all feel free to um but yeah you can just swatch it on the back of your hand but like i said some people put that on your i don't know anyways it's it's a little bit nasty for me but y'all can go ahead and try um also would i buy any more of the shades yes there's actually a few more shades that i wanted to buy in store which you guys know i don't really shop in store like that but i did get these inside of ulta i went in there i looked and i just had like a little me time and i shopped around in ulta and i stumbled upon those and i was like i'm gonna get those and try them on for my subscribers and there were so many that they didn't have which that's one of the freaking reasons why i don't like shopping in stores to begin with because it's just freaking annoying and i'm like i could have just sat on my butt in my you know freaking beauty room and shopped or sat on the couch but i don't know there's sometimes there are some days that i just want to go in a store and look and that was one of those days so it's whatever but yeah overall i'm gonna have to give these a oh i'm gonna say nine but i'm gonna give them an eight just because the colors are a little bit sketchy like as far as i don't know which one i'm really purchasing like because now i want like something on the browner side so i don't know if i'm gonna have a hard time finding that or not but i am gonna look online and see if i can find any brown ones and i think i want like a brick red and a red red mm-hmm red red and brick red so i need about three more shades <laughs> and then i'll be fine but okay, if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, if you just stumbled upon this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do videos like this all the time. If you guys want me to try out any other lip products, I'd be happy to. Y'all just comment below and let me know which ones you guys want me to try. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.